Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share with you seven of these Born Pretty alcohol inks. Or they're more called of like a blossom nail polish. Even though it isn't really a nail polish, it are just some alcohol inks. Um, so you could apply them all over the nail if you want to but I wouldn't do so myself but I'm just going to show you all of the colors um, all of the nails the ingredients as well how they work or at least I still need a lot of practice with those I figured out um, but all of these bottles contain uh, six milliliters and they are $2.99 in dollars each so this first one is the blue one and it really is a gorgeous color so it comes in regular nail polish bottles but as you can see it is really watery really thin and that is because they are kind of like ink ink is really thin as well but these are even more watery so i just prepped a nail wheel with some white regular nail polish you could use these on gel polish as well as nail polishes so that is really cool but because I felt it was a little bit hard to see the color in the bottle itself, I just decided to take a little piece of a kitchen towel and just swatch the colors on there as well. So I'm just going in straight from the bottle with the brush from the bottle just to show you what it looks like. I do feel like um, it really depends on how much of that blossom nail polish you have on the brush like the more product the deeper the color will be but you can really do some really cool layering effects with these you could do like um a smoke kind of thing um just really colors that um, are transferring into each other that's like really really cool so yeah I'm just going to show you all of the colors right here. So the first was the blue, then the second one is the pink. And all of the names are on the boxes as well as underneath of the bottles itself. So this pink I think is one of my favorites. You guys know me, I just love my pinks. And I just think this is a really beautiful one. So then the third one that is up is a really neat one as well. It looks really, really orange in the bottle. But if I remember correctly, this one was a reddish kind of tone. Um, so yeah, it, I have to say this is more of like an orangey red. Of course, it depends how much product you have on your brush, how deep the color will be. There also is a seventh color, which is not really a color, but more of like a transfer kind of um, like clear color, um, which helps to really make the inks spread and blossom more. The fourth one is a beautiful purple. I think this is together with the pink, one of my favorites. It is just a regular like medium purple, really pretty. And I think it would be really gorgeous to use this in like an autumn marble kind of design as well. But yeah, I'm just going to splash it on these nails a little bit just to show you the colors and um, how they actually layer and get more um, opaque with every extra layer you apply. So I'm not really going to make them blossom as much or spread as much um, but I am going to try out a little bit more on this same nail wheel as well with some uh, rubbing alcohol unfortunately I didn't have the 96% alcohol anymore so I just used a 70% alcohol but you would see me do so in, in just a couple of minutes <laughs> So the yellow one is really, really bright. I really love that one as well. I think it would be beautiful to combine that with the red, make them like transfer or bleed into each other a little bit to create a really orange color. That would be so cool. The sixth color and actually the last true color from this collection of um, blossom nail polishes or alcohol inks is this beautiful medium green one. It is so gorgeous. I think this would be beautiful to make um, also a fall marble with some green or maybe a smoke effect with some green um, in it for this upcoming fall season I think that would be really gorgeous or even to combine it with the purple I think that would be really pretty as well 
So this is the final one, the seventh one. Um, that is a clear one, but I wanted to be sure that it wouldn't have any color. So I just applied it to my kitchen towel as well. As you can see, no color at all. It just looks like water, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but this helps to actually make the colors spread or bleed into each other a little bit more. So you get a less opaque effect and the colors just really transfer into each other, making a new color. So I am going to use one of my um, striping brushes or just a nail art brush. It really doesn't matter which one you take. You can take the really long striping brushes, but I just took a medium size and I just put some of that rubbing alcohol. I only had the 70% as I mentioned before. I just put some of that in one of my dappen dishes. So I just really wanted to try and make some marble designs. So I tried up with the blue first, um, just to apply it straight from the brush and then go in with the rubbing alcohol on my detail or liner brush, but that really didn't work. So um, for the other colors, I pretty much just switched it up. Um, and because there was already a lot of that alcohol on the nail, when I applied the blue, it really spread out nicely. Um, I also wanted to try that clear one just to see if it will work. I feel like it does spread, but you have to work kind of fast because these inks really dry super fast as well, which is a good thing. You can actually go in with your top coat, whether it's a regular top coat or a gel top coat. Um, you can go in with that pretty quickly. So yeah, that's actually a really good thing. You don't have to wait for like five minutes to be completely dry. Like just wait one minute and you're good to go. But yeah, I do feel like with that transparent um, ink or like that transfer color, um, it does spread out. It makes it a little bit less opaque, a little bit more smoky like. Um, that's kind of cool. Uh, but I think you get the most cool like marbly effect just um, going in with your liner brush or your nail art brush straight from the bottle. Um, apply that to the nail and then go in with your alcohol. Or maybe even go into your alcohol, um, then go into your ink and then apply it. You get like a really nice dispersed kind of effect. But once again, this was my first time actually trying out to work with these. Um, I've never used alcohol inks before, like not this way. Of course, I do have like my twin markers, my Sharpies to make like a Sharpie nail art design, which kind of works the same. You just apply the color straight from the Sharpie or the marker and you go in with rubbing alcohol. Um, I do think it will work better if you have a higher like percentage of alcohol. Usually I always just work with the 96%. I use it with my gel polish designs to sanitize and all that jazz. Um, but I ran out and I didn't knew that when I was going to record this video. So that's why I use the 70%. I always have 70% as well. Um, I actually use that for like medical stuff. So if you have like a little cut or anything like that, I just clean the wound um, with some of the 70% alcohol. But I do recommend to use the um, 96 or even 92% alcohol. I'm not sure how it will work, will work with like 100%. I know that there is 100% alcohol sold as well. At least not here in the Netherlands in stores, but I live pretty close to Luxembourg. Um, it's just like one and a half hours or two hour drive or something. It's not that far. Um, and they do sell like the 100% alcohol there. Um, I've never used that for nail art, but I saw that they had it when I was in the alcohol section of like a supermarket. Um, but you can definitely try it out. I think it would really disperse the color super nicely. Um, so yeah, you could always try it out, but I would recommend to go for the 92 or the 96%. I think that will work even better than this 70% alcohol. But yeah, I'm actually really pleased with how I am trying these colors out and how they are turning out, even though it was like my first time actually drying it. So I just went in with my liner brush straight from the bottle. I just applied it to the nail and went in with my alcohol straight away. Again, I do think you have to work pretty fast with these. 
um, to get the most blended or blossomed effect like the most spread out but of course it's totally up to you what kind of effect you would want to um, achieve with this I think I'm going to have a lot of fun trying out new designs with these um, it does remind me of like the sharpie nail art effect so if you are already um, like into that you have tried that a lot I think you will be rocking these blossom nail polishes as well or alcohol inks I think like a blossom nail polish is like halfly the right term for it because it really isn't like a nail polish um, that's kind of confusing I would rather just call them blossom inks or blossom alcohol inks or something like that or even marble inks because I think it's really really cool to make marbles with these and I'm so happy with how the purple and the green actually turned out I think after just a little bit of practice they already looked pretty good in my opinion for like a first time trying but yeah I'm really curious to hear you guys if you have ever tried anything like this before have you tried sharpie nail art before I really want to do some videos on that as well because I have like a ton of markers um, and they're just waiting for me and calling for me to use them in some nail art but yeah do let me know if you have any experience with this if you have any tips or tricks for someone like me who's just starting out with these alcohol inks or blossom inks or however you want to call them um, I also wanted to thank Born Pretty Store for actually sending these out to me I'm really really grateful uh, grateful for that and really thankful as well I think it's a really cool um, like brand <laughs> they are really affordable they ship worldwide their shipping is i think it's mostly free as well so that is really really cool um and they do ship within like three to four weeks or something um it really depends on the time of year sometimes i get my packages in after only two weeks sometimes it takes six weeks just have a little bit patience uh whenever you are ordering um the customer service from born pretty store always tells you to just be patient because sometimes the mail is just really really sh uh, slow just like the aliexpress orders i've been waiting on a couple of orders orders for I think seven weeks now and I still haven't got them so yeah just be patient with that I know it can be really like annoying to have to wait for that a long time um, but I do think the products are totally worth it and they are really inexpensive as well so if you are on a budget um, do try them out and I also have got a discount code if you want to use it I'm not getting paid or anything for you to use it or to even mention it but you can find a discount code in my description box and I will pin it in the comment section below as well but yeah here I am just trying out some different techniques trying to blend the colors into each other um, I did a couple off camera as well but you will see them right now if I'm correct yes <laughs> but yeah this is already the end of the video do let me know what you think about these alcohol inks blossom inks blossom nail polishes <laughs> I think they're really neat they are really affordable just $2.99 each and I think you get a little discount if you get the full pack as well but yeah I can't wait to actually try these out during some nail art design so if you want to see me do some marble looks or something like that with these let me know in the comments down below but thank you guys so so much for watching I really appreciate all of you I love you so much and as usual I hope to see you in my next video